Imagine a star, a giant ball of gas and plasma, shining brightly in the sky. Now imagine a black hole, a cosmic monster with such a strong gravity that nothing can escape from it, not even light. What would happen if these two celestial objects met? What would happen if a star got too close to a black hole and was torn apart by its immense force? This is what we call a tidal disruption event, and it is one of the most spectacular and violent phenomena in the universe. In this video, we will discuss one of the most remarkable examples of a tidal disruption event that has been observed so far, Asasin 14 Li. This event occurred when a supermassive black hole devoured a huge star and spewed out its guts into space. We will see how astronomers have been studying this event with various telescopes and what new discoveries they have made. Let's get started. Let's start by explaining what tidal disruption events are and how they happen. As you may know, black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from them, not even light. They are usually formed by the collapse of massive stars or by the merger of smaller black holes. Some black holes are relatively small, with masses of a few times that of the Sun. These are called stellar mass black holes. Other black holes are much larger, with masses of millions or billions of times that of the Sun. These are called supermassive black holes, and they are usually found at the centers of galaxies. Now, sometimes a star wanders too close to a black hole and gets caught in its gravitational pull. The star cannot escape from the black hole's grip, but it also cannot remain intact. The black hole's gravity is so strong that it stretches and squeezes the star until it breaks apart. This is similar to how the moon's gravity causes tides on Earth, but much more extreme. The star's material is then pulled towards the black hole and forms a disk of hot gas around it. This disk is called an accretion disk, and it emits a lot of radiation as the gas heats up and spirals inward. Some of the star's material is also ejected into space at high speeds, forming jets or streams of gas that glow brightly. This whole process is called a tidal disruption event, or TDE for short. It is a rare and spectacular phenomenon that can only be observed when a star passes very close to a black hole, which happens once in every 10,000 to 100,000 years per galaxy. It is also very hard to observe because it lasts for only a few months or years and because it can be obscured by dust or other objects in the way. However, when astronomers do manage to catch a glimpse of a TDE, they can learn a lot about the properties and behavior of black holes and their surroundings. One of the most remarkable examples of a TDE that has been observed so far is ASASIN 14 Li. This event was discovered in November 2014 by the All Sky Automated Survey for Supernovae, SSN, which is a network of telescopes that scans the sky for bright flashes of light from exploding stars or other sources. ASASN 14 Li was located in a galaxy called PGC 043234, which is about 290 million light years away from Earth. It was caused by a supermassive black hole with a mass of about 20 million times that of the Sun, which devoured a star with a mass of about 25 times that of the Sun. ASASN 14 Li was one of the closest TDEs to Earth ever detected, which made it possible to study it in great detail with various telescopes, including NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, ESA's XMM Newton, and NASA's Swift Satellite. These telescopes observed this event in different wavelengths of light, such as X-rays, ultraviolet, optical, and infrared. They revealed how the black hole ripped apart the star and created an accretion disk around it, which emitted X-rays that were observed by the telescopes. They also showed how some of the star's material was ejected into space at speeds of up to 30,000 kilometers per second, forming jets or streams of gas that glowed brightly. SSN-14 Lei was more violent and energetic than most TDEs, and it lasted for about a year, but to date, it is still an active source of information. The black hole consumed about 50% of the star's mass, which is equivalent to about 12.5 suns. This means that the black hole grew significantly in size and mass as a result of this event. The event provides an excellent opportunity to study the environment around a black hole and how it affects its host galaxy. Recently, 
astronomers reported some new and exciting findings about ASASIN-14 Li, which show that this event is still an active and rich source of information for studying black holes and their surroundings. Here are some of the highlights. A study by John Miller used high-resolution X-ray spectroscopy to measure the spin of the black hole that destroyed the star. They found that the black hole has a spin parameter of 0.7, which means that it rotates at about 70% of the maximum possible speed for a black hole of its mass. This is one of the first direct measurements of black hole spin using TDEs, and it could help us understand how black holes grow and evolve over time. The angular momentum of the objects that fall into a black hole, such as stars or other black holes, affects its spin. This means that by measuring the spin of a black hole, we can infer its history and origin. Another study by Pasham analyzed the optical and X-ray light curves of Assassin 14 Li and found evidence for periodic variations with a period of about 131 days. They interpreted these variations as the result of a precessing accretion disk around the black hole, which changes its orientation and brightness as it orbits. This is the first time that such a phenomenon has been observed in a TDE and it could provide clues about the geometry and dynamics of the accretion process. The precession of the disk could be caused by the gravitational influence of another object near the black hole, such as another star or a smaller black hole. By studying the precession of the disk, we can learn more about the structure and composition of the disk, as well as the properties and environment of the black hole. A third study by Dai used radio observations to probe the environment around the black hole and the star. They found that the star was likely orbiting in a dense gas disk before it was disrupted, and that the disk was disrupted by the tidal forces as well. They also found that the radio emission from the event was fading faster than expected, which could indicate that the ejected material was interacting with a strong magnetic field near the black hole. This is the first time that such a detailed picture of the pre- and post-disruption environment has been obtained for a TDE and it could reveal new aspects of the physics and astrophysics of these events. The gas disk around the star could be related to the formation or evolution of the galaxy, and the magnetic field around the black hole could affect its accretion rate and radiation. These are some of the findings that have been reported about ASASIN-14 Li, which show that this event is still an active and rich source of information for studying black holes and their surroundings. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about black holes, stars, and the secrets of the cosmos. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.